Welcome to this week's edition of River City Hardball. I'm your host, Andrew Gibson. Always a pleasure to welcome in a couple of our friends from DBAT Jacksonville, as Paula joins us as well, and Coach Mike Ellison as well. Uh, guys, thanks so much for joining us. Mike, I want you to introduce uh, someone that we have with us today. Tell us about uh, Paula. Paula's an incredible individual. She's, uh, she took a time off from pitching when she first came to me, and so we started working uh, together about – Six weeks ago, uh, very impressed with her technique as far as her ability to understand and learn. I was kind of concerned in the very beginning coming from Peru. I said, well, there may be a little bit of language barrier there, but there was not. She says full grasp of everything I'm trying to explain to her, so it makes it really simple that she wants to learn it as, uh, as, as we're going through each day. Paula, tell everybody your full name and tell us where you're from and uh, what you're looking to do here in the United States. Well, I'm Maria Paula Grosboma Figueroa. I'm from Lima, Peru, and I'm here in the United States still looking for playing college level. So I'm looking for, like playing softball here. I really like here. So. And, and Mike, I think she has an opportunity in front of her, doesn't she? That's, a, that, that's correct. Uh, she's got a camp coming up this weekend. There's a couple of different schools that uh, since we started working together, she's gone to a few uh, different college campuses to, to their softball camps and has drawn a lot of interest from a lot of colleges uh, locally in the region as well as one as far as out as in Texas. Paula, tell us about uh, where you play on the field. Uh, is, is pitching where you're looking to, to play? Uh, tell us about all that. Of course. So it's funny because I came here like as a third baseman. So Coach Hart was very impressed that I was like, yeah, I would like to pitch. I would like to pitch because I really like pitching. So I started playing in shortstop and third base. And finally, I was like, I absolutely like pitching. So I went to Coach Mike Ellison and he started pitching. He started teaching me. So I learned, I have learned like a lot of it. So I'm really excited about becoming a pitcher. Mike, when she came to you and said, yeah, I play third base, but I'd like to pitch, what were your first thoughts on that? Let's do an eva evaluation and let's just see <laughs> uh, what kind of mechanics we got to start with, what, what kind of a baseline we have. And once we can figure that out, then we can certainly uh, make an assessment. That's what typically what I do with all the girls that I work with. The first thing they do when they come in, we do an eval. Uh, to spend time to see just where they at as their level of uh, ability. And then we can make a game plan and put the game plan together on what's going to be the best way to go forward. And with Paula, it was like, yeah, I want to work with this girl. Mm -hmm. uh, Paula, tell us about your uh, experience coming from Peru to the United States uh, to chase this opportunity. What's all that been like for you? Well, I used to play a national team in the Peruvian national team, but I decided to leave the national team to came here. So I'm really excited about playing here because it's like another level. So I'm really looking for like being in a college and play like a college, college level. So I'm really excited about it. Uh, Mike, when you did the evaluation on her, what did you gather from that? Well, she, the, her basis was really good. You know, her technique was for the most part, really solid. Her speed was down, was not at a college level. Um, in fact, the day she came in, the very first eval we did was back on November the 28th, and her top speed at that time was 54 miles an hour, and her average was only 52.9 miles an hour, 53 miles an hour. It's solid, I mean, she was in control of her pitches and, and the control of her technique. We had to work on some other pitches other than just, you know, being able to throw the pitch the ball, we got to be able to locate different pitches and be able to understand how to spin different pitches. And so I said, we just did an eval with her this past Monday, her six week eval uh, during the program and her speed has increased by uh, four miles an hour. She's at 58.3 miles an hour and her average is now up to 57 miles an hour, which is definitely uh, a big, I mean, with six weeks of work, and here we are, so there's no telling how much faster and stronger she's going to get over the course of the next summer. Yeah, I mean, it certainly sounds like there's a lot of untapped potential. Paula, how much fun are you having training with Mike, uh, getting to experience all this? It's really fun because he has taught me, like, a lot about, like, the mechanics. Like, I don't have to be, like, super, like, 
like focuses like all the time like just pitching pitching if you're in the future play so it's really fun working with him he has taught me like a lot and i'm really excited to keep going like pitching um well really excited about it i absolutely Bye. You were telling me that you didn't realize that you were throwing a screwball. Is that correct? Yeah. <laughs> well, I went to, I, I've been in the Yuka Showcase in the USF camp. And the USF camp, I learned, they taught me how to pitch a screwball and a curveball and a drop ball. But I, I don't know what I did with my wrist that I learned how to throw it. I just like doing like things. And I was like, I think that was a screwball. I think that was a drop ball. And I learned how to do it. And he was like, good spin. <laughs> good spin. So Mike, what was your evaluation of that? Well, when she, she came back, she, she throws a pitch. We had, obviously, everything spins a little bit different. But the way she was releasing it and cutting the ball uh, just has a natural movement from left to right. And so I said, all right, now that you know we got the spin, let's learn how to pitch it let's don't let's just don't throw it down there let's understand how to control it and so a lot of times when I'm working with Paul it's basically yes sir I understand yes sir I understand and I and so when we have these live BP sessions and we do these different things uh instead of just pitching into a net or pitching to a catcher all bets are off when you put a batter in the box so it's easy to throw to a catcher when you're just working on lessons and stuff but Seeing Paul this past weekend and over the course of the six weeks of pitching to batters and live batters and understanding, okay, how do we need to place this ball? Where do we need to step? What do our mechanics need to do in order to get this ball to do exactly what we want it to do and make sure when we are pitching certain pitches that we are spinning them correctly? Because a lot of times it's, Paul has been many years removed from pitching and like she says, playing shortstop. So as you start pitching more and more, at the level that we're trying to get her to, we have to understand how to control the pitches when the pitch is called to make sure that it's doing exactly what we need it to do. And, and she has a real good grasp of that. And it doesn't take much. It's like, oh, okay, I, I see, I see, I see. Uh, and so it's like when we're trying to get her to step in a certain direction, release the ball in a certain direction, uh, she's starting to get a better grasp of that. Paula, what made you decide on pitching? I, I know that you've played third base. You played, as Coach said, shortstop. What What made you decide I want to go jump in the circle and start pitching? Well, I well I haven't pitched like three years ago. So when I started pitching with Coach Mike, I was like, I love this. I love this because this position has taken my heart. I think because I really love that. It's like the pressure, the tension, all of it. So. You have to be focused and just pitching. So it's real fun. Oh, you got to love somebody that embraces that pressure, don't you, Coach? Absolutely. And one thing that, that uh, Marie, uh, Paula has said multiple times on here is just pitching. It's just pitching, which is one of the things that I do with all the girls is, listen, when we're, what are you doing? What are you doing inside the circle? What are you trying to focus on? Pitching. It's called pitching. It's not called aiming. It's called pitching. So let's don't try to aim the ball. Let's pitch the ball. Let's make sure we're pitching the ball, not just throwing it across the plate or trying to throw it to a catcher. So she's a type of person that when she, when she gets her mindset on what she wants to accomplish and what she wants to do, I mean, it's all go, no stop for ball. So what's next uh, with her? I know you've talked about uh, getting her speed increased a little bit, uh, working on her mechanics and, and yeah. trying to locate the ball. What's, what's next in her uh, progression for you, Coach? The most important thing we've got to do with, with Paul right now is get her confidence to the level uh, that she can compete. Uh, one of the things we talk about all the time with a lot of the pitchers that I work with is you got to compete with what you have that day. Just like in any sport, uh, some days you're the bug, some days you're the windshield. Uh, some days the ball is spinning great. Some days the ball is not spinning great. So what are you going to be able to compete with that day when you, you go in to prepare to pitch and you start warming up your pitches, what pitch is working, what pitch is not working, and then be aware of those situations so that when you get in that circle, you can take your mind off of the results. One of the things we talk about all the time, don't worry about the results. Don't be result-oriented. Focus on performing the task and executing the pitch that you're trying to pitch. And if you give it 100%, you have a, a confidence in doing that, then we're going to be more successful. And with, with Paula, I can see the potential there 
And for her to gain the confidence, and I tell her all the time, when you buy into the confidence that I have in you, you're going to be unstoppable. Well, great stuff. I really appreciate you guys joining us this morning. Uh, uh, Paula, Coach Mike Ellison. Mike also has experience as the pitching coach at Edward Waters College here in Jacksonville. So uh, I think, Paula, you're in great hands, and I wish you the best in your opportunities going forward. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me here, and the Coach Mike Ellison. Thanks, Andrew. We certainly appreciate the opportunity.